Welcome to Tales of Arise. This is Alex, and I'm going to be breaking down the main combat abilities of your party members. Each of the six character classes I have access to at this point in the game all play very differently from each other, so I do recommend breaking the RPG trope of must never switch off the main pro tag, because you will find a very diverse and well-rounded combat system if you do. If you plan on picking up Tales of Arise, I recommend sticking around on the channel, because my expertise is dissecting gameplay mechanics, and this seems to be chock full of that kind of goodness. First up, we have Rinwell, who is a mid to long range magic caster. By the way, from this point forward, I change my team's tactics to not attack so you can get a better feel for each character. Now Rinwell, many of her ground based spells require charging, but hit very hard and usually in a large AoE. Her aerial arts are a bit faster since they don't require any charging time. Her boost attack skill, indicated when ready by the character icons in the bottom left of the screen, calls her forth to deal a multi-hit pinpointed magic attack. Her main character perk that really makes her a powerhouse is her ability to magic charge her spells. If you press the right bumper when holding a fully charged spell, it will let you stock that spell to fire on top of the next spell cast. However, depending on the next spell you cast, like the exact same spell for example, it will amplify that spell up to the next highest tier. You can also mix and match certain spells to create other ones that you wouldn't normally have access to yet. Also for her buffs, if you cast the same one twice, it will apply that buff to the entire team, not just to her. Overall, Rinwell does best from the mid to back lines, and if she finds the openings, her spell synergies can greatly boost your team's outgoing DPS. Next up, we have Alfin, who is a close to mid-range damage dealer. He attacks quickly, and many of his arts combo well into each other or pop targets up into the air for further juggles. Calling on Alfin for his boost attack sends him in to do a large fire AoE strike. His primary character perk allows him to hold down the button after casting arts to sacrifice some of his health to do hard hitting flame edge strikes. The HP cost to cast these seems to be under 10% of your max health and their power and ability to break the target makes it often worth the sacrifice. Since your entire team's ability to cast healing or support arts now relies on your CP pool on the right hand side of the screen, you will want to keep that stock to counter Alfin's health loss. Overall, Alfin is the jack of all trades character of the group that is good at about everything but is also one of the more straightforward with his attack style. Next up we have Kasara, who is the tanky damage absorber of the group. Her offensive capabilities are average but can be boosted if she puts her impressive defensive tactics to use. Her boost attack sends her in to do a large shield blast on targets in front of her. Kasara's character perk that sets her apart from the rest is the fact that her ability to dodge is replaced with a block instead. Also, some of her arts can be cast while the shield is raised. If she times a block right before the moment of impact and launches an art out of that, her shield will glow for a period of time, making her attack stronger and harder to block. If you prefer countering oncoming attacks rather than dodging them, this character is the way to go. Overall, Kasara really requires you to pay more attention to oncoming strikes, at least if you want to get the most out of her defensively boosted offensive abilities. Next up is Xion, who is a long range shooter and support magic caster. She can hit targets from really far away and even juggle them in the air, along with providing the big heals for the entire team. Calling her in for a blast attack has her firing a big barrage from her gun that is really good at helping you extend aerial juggles if you're not playing as her. Xion's main character perk is Blast Snipe, which lets her modify how some of her arts fire. Just a tap of the art button will do one variant, but if you press and hold it, she can detonate some skills in different ways. She does have an ammo gauge above her health bar which indicates when you need to reload before you do more of those. Overall, Xion is a really well-rounded character, dealing good DPS, being fairly agile, and has some of the best support around. Next up is Law, who is a straight to the punch, well, he's a fighter. He is a master of ground and air combos, dishing out high strings of damage. Nothing too tricky up his sleeves, making him best for those who want just good old fashioned brawling. His blast attack calls him in to do a big meaty punch. 
His main character perk is Awakening, which activates when he deals damage while avoiding oncoming damage. The longer he goes dealing damage without getting staggered, he will gain a blue followed by a yellow aura which increases his physical and elemental attack. This state will also wear off if he doesn't attack for a period of time, so he needs to stay on the offensive. Overall, Law is a fairly straightforward melee bro, but still really satisfying when you get his combo strings going. Next up is Dohalim, who is a staff wielding melee fighter and magic caster. He excels at close to medium range combat, has many multi-hitting strikes, and can also provide backup with some support magic. His blast attack sends him in to strike an enemy, which also applies a light snare on them. Dahalim's main character perk is Rod Extension, which activates when he performs a perfect dodge of aid. When he's in this amped up state, his attacks will have greater reach, will be able to interrupt enemies easier, and will have a slightly higher critical rate. If you're skilled at evading oncoming attacks, this character's improved moveset will reward that playstyle. Overall, Dohalim is a very well-rounded character that is good at just about everything from offense, evasion, and support. And with that, those were the current characters I have access to in this early build of Tales of Arise. Make sure to let me know which of these characters looks the most appealing to you, and I hope this encourages you to periodically switch out that main playable character. Now if you happen to enjoy my channel's focus on gameplay mechanics and systems, stick around on Boomstick Gaming. As always, this has been Alex, and thanks for watching.